Hi everyone, today we are going to have a look at another variation of the Solomon Bar and this one is called the Crooked Fool Solomon Bar. To make this one we're going to need two pieces of paracord, each one 180 centimeters long or around about six feet in length and the first thing we want to do is find the center of each piece and then I want to tuck one piece up through the other bring it around then up again and that will form a little loop here at the top Then I want to take this top strand here over and then take it behind everything and then through that top section there and pull that all the way through. This is probably the fiddliest bit of the whole thing just to start it off. Tighten it up and then pull this tight and adjust this loop to the size you want which is about one centimeter in length I'm just going to flip this over pull a tiny little bit of slack through the back here and then pull that all the way through the front side So once we've made our initial loop, we want to start making this pattern and I'm going to start off with this left hand strand and take it over those two center strands and then I'm going to take these two center strands and wrap it through that left hand loop and pull it all the way through. Then I want to take this right hand strand over and then behind and up through that left hand loop as well and then tighten the whole knot down. And then I want to start with this right hand strand. I want to take that one over the center then wrap these center cords through that right hand loop then take this left hand strand over behind and through that right hand loop and we can tighten this one down and that's the pattern there and I'll just show you one more cycle again starting with the left hand strand we'll take it over the center here Take the center strands around through that left hand loop. And then we want to take this right hand strand over, behind, and also up through that left hand loop. And we can tighten it down. Then we can start this again on the right hand side take that strand over the two center strands and then tuck those two center strands down through that 
that right hand loop take the left hand strand over behind and up through the right hand loop and then tighten it down And then all that's left to do is to continue that pattern all the way down until you get the bracelet the length you want. So once we get to the end here, I just want to lock it off with one cobra knot. And we'll do that by finding whichever strand exits downwards. We'll take that strand and we'll go over those two center strands. And then the other side over behind the two center strands up through the other loop and then tighten it down. And then the next stage is to tie a button down here. The easiest button to tie is an overhand knot and we can do that just by forming a loop, taking our ends and tucking it down through that loop and then tightening that knot down. Then all that's left to do is to just cut these free ends off here and then singe them with a lighter. So I've gone ahead and I've cut all the stray ends off and I've singed them with a lighter and I've also retied this button with the more ornamental diamond knot and I'll leave a link for the tutorial on how to tie that one if you want to learn it. And that's the finished piece.